to question number four, test for review. If the fundamental frequency is inside an open wind instrument is 330 hertz, what will it be if you shorten its length by a factor of three? So you have a, a wind instrument here. It could be a clarinet, it could be any kind of wind instrument, organ pipes, it could be uh, flutes, uh, trombone, trumpet, um, some kind of pipe, anything really. Uh, and actually it could even be uh, open at both ends, it could be closed at both ends, and it could be closed and open. Okay. When we do the equations of this, the equation of this one turns out to be the frequency is NB over 4L, where N is 1, 3, 5, 7, so on, so on. So this kind of instrument with one end closed and the, uh, the other end open uh, turns out to be NB over 4L, and you are missing the even harmonics. N is 2 is missing, N is 4 is missing. If it's closed at both ends or open at both ends, then the equation turns out to be NB over 2L. N is 1, 2, 3, 4. This kind of um, pipe, okay, um, happens to be have the same equation as a regular string. A uh, regular string which has, uh, goes like this, goes like this, right, with uh, two nodes uh, at the opposite ends. The equation for string waves also happens to be NB over 2L, and it is not missing any harmonic, whereas the closed and open is missing the even harmonics. But for this problem, we don't even need to know whether it's a, this kind of pipe or this kind of pipe. As long as we know that the fundamental frequency of either one is 330, if you shorten its length by a factor of three, what are you doing to the length of the pipe? Well, the L is becoming um, shorter by a factor of three, right? So what that, does that mean? Um, it's one-third L, right? The shorter the length is, the bigger the frequency that resonates in that pipe. So if L becomes one-third L, what happens to the three? The three goes up and becomes larger, right? 3NV over 4L. Same thing here. If the L becomes 1 third L, the 3 goes up to the numerator and the uh, frequency increases by a factor of 3, whether it's this kind of pipe or that kind of pipe. So the fundamental frequency should go from 330 times 3 becomes what? 990, right? So this is the answer. <clears throat> so again, here the pitfall is someone might think that if you uh, decrease the length, the fundamental frequency actually goes down. So one, they might say 110. Some other people might think the frequency stays the same. Some other people might think the frequency goes up by only a factor of two. So 660, right? So. This problem could have also said something like this. It could have had a choice E. It could have said, well, it depends what kind of pipe. Depends what kind of pipe. So it depends what kind of string, um, wind instrument it is. Some people might have put that, right? They might have thought, well, it depends if it's this or is it this. But the answer would still have been 990 because it doesn't matter what kind of pipe it is. Okay, thank you.